Hi and welcome back to my channel. This is Lily and today I'm going to show you how I give myself a facial massage using the Audacity Gua Sa Rose Quartz tool. In case you're not familiar with Gua Sa, it is an ancient Chinese skin scraping technique that has various health benefits when performed on the body. On the face it is done in a gentle way using moderate pressure with the purpose of increasing blood circulation which is beneficial to all skin types, stimulating the lymphatic system, which helps with toxin removal, and it is thought to also help with preventing breakouts, and releasing tension in the facial muscle. The Audacity Guasa tool is hand-carved from rose quartz and has a smooth surface that feels cool to the touch and feels so good on tired, puffy skin. In the packaging, along with the tool, Audacity includes this little booklet that contains information about the Gua Sa tool, the benefits of Gua Sa facial massage, some tips, and a helpful diagram that shows you exactly how to perform the facial massage, how to position the tool on your face, so you can refer to it while you are learning how to properly use it. Before starting the facial gua sa, I do my basic skincare routine. I cleanse my face, I use a hydrating mist, and then I press a few drops of face oil on my skin. Since I am going to use medium pressure while pulling the skin, I want to make sure that the tool can glide on easily without harsh tugging as it would on bare skin. The face oil that I'm applying before the massage is an old favorite of mine by Audacity. It's called Vital Glow Wild Carrot Serum Concentrate, which is the perfect oil to make the skin feel a bit more cushiony. I am going to start with my neck and I'm going to lay the longer arched edge of the tool almost flat against my neck and I'm going to massage in an upward motion until the tool reaches my jawbone. I'm going to repeat the movement about five times, between five and ten times. Next, I'm going to use the small concave edge that gives the tool this heart-like shape and I'm going to scrape the center part of my neck going upwards. And I stop right where I feel the bone under my chin. I repeat each movement about 5 to 10 times. Next, I'm going to use the same small concave edge of the tool, which has the perfect shape to hug and massage the jawline. So I scrape in an upward motion and stop right below my ear where the bone ends. Again, I'm going to repeat each movement about five to 10 times. Then I'm going to do some strokes from my chin to my ear, covering the entire bottom side of my face using the flat edge of the Gua Sa tool. And then I'm going to move a little above that area and I'm going to do 5 to 10 strokes using the small concave edge to hug my cheekbone and scrape towards the temple. This feels particularly good because it stimulates the zygomatic muscles, which we use a lot for smiling and talking, so some days it feels almost like giving a massage to a sore quad. Next I'm going to move to the brow bone with the same small concave edge and I'm going to do 5 to 10 strokes from the beginning of the brow in the center of my face towards the temple. This helps to relieve the tension I hold in that area. And now I'm going to move to my forehead and using the flat edge I'm going to do several strokes in a lifting motion going over my eyebrow towards the hairline. And then I'm going to slightly move towards the side, lifting towards my temple. And now I'm going to repeat each movement I just performed on the other side of my face. So let's talk about the results that you can expect from practicing facial gua sa regularly. The results that you can expect include better hydration levels due to an increase in blood circulation, which is also going to lead to an overall improvement in the appearance of your skin. You may notice that your skin is more of a healthy glow, looks more hydrated, and it may even appear a bit more tight. And you may experience also less breakouts due to the increased lymphatic drainage function. I find that it helps tremendously with reducing puffiness in my face, which is something that I'm particularly conscious about, so I try to do it almost every morning. 
This of course is going to work best if you have a solid skincare routine and use products that suit your skin's needs. So this concludes my routine. I hope that you found it helpful. Please make sure to leave a comment below if you have any questions. And check out the info box below the video for direct links to the tool and the product I used. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.